What's up, y'all? This is Bruce Baduzzi. I'm in my studio right now. But, uh, okay. Somebody asked me how to, what is it? They asked me, how do you actually make the sample, like, make a sample actually, like, go with the beat? You know what I'm saying? Because when people don't know how to make the samples actually go with the beat, so they don't know what to do. So, technically, it's the same concept. I'm not going to use a sample. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a symbol. Okay. Now, you see the symbol. I dragged the symbol. This is my symbol, by the way. Anyway, the people that got my kit, they already know what it is. Okay, so this is the same concept because, like, did okay, when you sample something like the hook or whatever y'all sample, might be one bar, two bar, three bars, and as you know, you know what I'm saying, from one to two, that's a bar, and it depends on the beats per minute, so all you gotta do, uh, mm, 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 okay, and the hip hop, like, most of the hip hop sample beats be between, if I'm not mistaken, 75 to no higher than 90, so... I'm going to take it all the way down. You see, when I take it down to 90, well, when I go down, the jank, the actual sample of this moves down along with it. And I'm about to put it on 80. And it's only one bar. So from one to two, all you got to do is cl double click on it, left click, go to time right here, go to time stretching. And just move it up. And then when I start moving it up, you see it's going to go back. You see it's going to go back like this. So you move it all the way up until it get to that bar, the first bar. And then that's how you, that's how you make it go along with the actual metronome. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you do it. I mean, it, it, ain't, it ain't no big deal. It ain't hard at all. That's all you got to do. When you already got the sample, that's all you got to do. That, that That's not hard at all. You feel me? All right, y'all. Peace.